Hey everyone, what I've got here is the SanDisk Extreme Pro SDXC card. I've got the 120 gigabyte version. This can apparently read up to 95 megabytes per second and write up to 90 megabytes per second. So I bought this for the Canon M50, which I'm getting soon, hopefully. Uh, and as you can see here, it says here, the pro's choice for reliability, performance, and uncompromising image and 4K UHD video quality. So yeah, that's why I bought this. I bought this to record 4K in my upcoming Canon M50. And you'll see a lot of people talking about this and you'll see a lot of people saying that this is a very good card to buy if you want to record at 4K. So the official website has got more information about this. I'll leave uh, a link there so you guys can check it out. It's got more information and more specs if you want to learn more about all the speeds, etc. I purchased it from Amazon UK. Uh, that's the price I paid, £47.13. And in the USA, you're looking at around $62.45. Of course, prices always go up and down. So let's get this open and we'll see what the card looks like. So this is what you will see inside the box of the SanDisk Extreme Pro. There's a serial code for a free download of Rescue Pro. I will not be using it, so good luck to the first person that steals that code and gets to use the software. So here is the card. 95 megabytes per second. Obviously lock it. And you've got all the other stats there as well. UHS-3, V30. So, at this point, what I'm going to do is jump over to my laptop and also my PC, and I want to test the speed and see if what they claim is actually correct. So I have tested the memory card on my laptop and on my main PC. My laptop has a memory card slot built in. For my main PC, I use this USB hub that has a few memory card slots. And the results were actually quite impressive. The first one that I tested was H2 Test W. On my laptop, it got 82.7 megabytes per second for reading, 76.9 megabytes per second for writing. On the PC, it got 86.6 and it got 80.5 megabytes per second. I was a little bit surprised by that. I just assumed that because the memory card slot was built into my laptop, I thought it would be a little bit quicker on my laptop, but I actually saw the opposite. The other software that I used was Crystal Disk Mark. On my laptop, I saw a read speed of 85.27 and a write speed of 80.79 megabytes per second, of course. And on my main PC, it actually, again, was higher. The read speed was 92.98 megabytes per second and the write speed was 86.4 megabytes per second. Now, again, the quoted speeds of the SanDisk Extreme Pro is um, it's 95 megabytes per second for reading and 90 megabytes per second for writing. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you the speed that you would get in a camera. My camera doesn't actually show you the, the reading write speeds on that. I don't have any camera that shows you that. So take that into consideration. The speeds that you get from your laptop, from your PC, when you test your memory card using H2 test, W, Crystal Disk Mark, or any other benchmarking software, it generally is quicker on your PC or on your laptop. It's, you know, it's generally going to be quicker when you test your memory card there. That being said, I was quite impressed with the read and write uh, speeds of this card. Um, you know, whenever you, whenever you test any memory card, a full SD card, a micro SD card, whatever you're testing, you're never going to get exactly what they're quoting. These are theoretical limits. Um, but sometimes with a memory card, you really are much less than what they quote. But I think in this in this case, in the, for the, the SanDisk Extreme Pro, I think you're going to get very close to the quoted speeds. So, oh, the sunshine's coming in here. Uh, so, yeah, I was very, very impressed with it. Uh, the real test for me will be using this with my camera and making sure that this does record 4K at a good speed. But having tested this on my laptop and my PC and seeing that the speeds are consistently between 80 and 90 megabytes per second for reading and writing, apart from that one test with H2 Test W, which was 76.9 for writing, they were nearly all between uh, 80 and 90. 
Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident this is going to perform very well in my Canon camera. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. I realise that memory card tests aren't the most exciting, but if you're on the lookout for a 4K card for your camera, I think this is one that I could recommend. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please do post them below and I will speak to you in the next one. Take care.